Hello, and welcome to another edition of Know Your Schools on Waco ISD TV. I'm Robin McDurham, Area Su Assistant Superintendent, and I'm pleased to be joined today with Ms. Daphne Latchison, the principal at Credit Recovery School. So, Ms. Latchison, start by telling us a little bit about your experiences, your own educational experiences. Describe your journey to the principalship. <laughs> okay, I am, first off, I am a Waco ISD product. Uh, elementary school, I went to Viking Hills Elementary, um, first through fifth, of course, uh, Carver Sixth Grade Center, then uh, Lake Air Middle School, and then I, um, I am a proud graduate, 96, of Waco High School. Uh, after that, um, I uh, attended um, University of North Texas, then transferred to UTA, then finally, finally, dwindled my way back home to Baylor University where I received my Bachelor's of Education. And then, 10 years later, you know, uh, decided to do, you know, something more. So I decided to pursue my master's through Lamar uh, University through teacher leadership and then finally end up getting my principal certification through them as well. That's great. Well, so what was it that inspired you to come into education? You know, um, coming from a family, you know, swarming of educators. My mother is a retired educator uh, of Waco ISD of 39 years. Um, I knew um, fourth grade, my fourth grade year, <laughs> in Miss Minnie Washington's class <laughs> that I wanted to be an educator. I wanted to work with kids and so um, basically uh, here I am. And so tell me about what you believe um, your experiences will bring to specifically Brazos credit recovery and talk a little bit about Brazos. Okay, uh, coming from uh, uh, Waco High School, um, for the last four years I served as assistant principal there uh, and uh, we have uh, a high risk, high at risk population there so I'm very familiar uh, with uh, the kids and uh, where they should be, where we want them to go and so just being able to, you know, connect with kids of, you know, from all different backgrounds, you know, uh, that's something that I'm very passionate about uh, uh, from when I first started, you know, in education. Um, so I think um, just having the experience of uh, building those key relationships with, you know, at-risk students and regardless of where, where they come from, you know, it is my duty to take them where they need to go. And so I feel that I have a heart for that. Yeah. That's obvious. So tell me, what are your goals? How are you going to take these students where they need to go and, and give them everything they need to be equipped for the workforce and college? Okay, first off, uh, we need them to come to school uh -huh. sure. <laughs> on a regular basis. So uh, basically uh, implementing uh, different incentives, you know, for those uh, kids to come to school to see that, you know, uh, yes, you were at Waco High, yes, you were at university, but you're at Brazos now. We are still a school, it is still important. And so just to implement those different incentives, you know, on an individual basis, on a team basis, on a school basis, you know, to show them that we want you here and it is important for you to be here. If you're not here, you're not learning, you're not making progress, you're not gaining credit. So just to, I mean, that's my ultimate, ultimate goal, you know. So um, that's pretty much where I want to start at. Well, Brazos has had a, a nice success rate with they their do. graduation rates, and um, I think you've got a lot of, tell me about your team and how you're pulling your team together to ensure that they will you know, take those goals and take them to higher and higher levels. One thing that I noticed uh, my first day uh, at Brazos, uh, on May 9th, <laughs> I can remember it like yesterday, um, my teachers, they were, and staff, they were so, so inviting. And you can see the heart, you know, that they have for our children immediately. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't need, you know, weeks and weeks to observe them to know that. And so, and then also when I visited the different classrooms, the way that they converse, you know, with our students and the way that our students responded to our teachers. So I am very, very excited, very excited to get the ball rolling uh, and just, I mean, the best is yet to come. Well, um, 
What comes easiest for you as an educator in, in this process of moving into the principalship? You know, just my heart for kids, just being able to connect. I think that's a huge, uh, a huge piece that, you know, can be learned either it's in you or it's not. You know, so my ability and my love to just connect to the clientele, you know, that, uh, that we serve. You know, whether it's, you know, an irate parent, hey, love them all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, everybody well, has a story. And so to be able to have the heart to listen to the stories that they bring to you, I think, is probably the easiest. And that's just, you know, that's my heart. Well, that's and some it. would argue the most important. Right. Because it, it starts with relationships. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we're so fortunate to have you in that role. So tell us. What, what do you do outside of the time that you uh, spend preparing for and working with your uh, students? What is life with Daphne like in, in, in your other world? <laughs> okay, um, well, I, I have three uh, beautiful uh, children, uh, two sons, 17 and 14, and then a um, lovely, lovely, princess of a daughter that's eight. <laughs> so uh, a lot of my time is, uh, you know, dedicated to them. Uh, I travel a lot uh, during the fall semester with my mom and my brothers and my children. Uh, we travel to Kansas City. Uh, you know, everybody knows. <laughs> that, uh, everybody may not know, okay. so let's, yeah, talk about okay. that as well. Okay, yeah. well, uh, we travel to my uh, brother's games. Uh, at uh, He plays for the Kansas City Chiefs, and he is a Waco ISD uh, product. So uh, that's a huge piece of what Daphne does outside of school. And it takes up a lot of time, but, I mean, it's, it's priceless. It's priceless, just, you know, family time. That's great. That's great. Well, we are so fortunate to have you as part of Waco ISD, and we're very much looking forward to what next year looks like at Brazos. We know that you will continue to grow that program, and the students will continue to benefit and thrive and have um, other options for Absolutely. their future Absolutely. because of it. Yes. So. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> we know you'll do a great job. Well, thank you. and. Uh, Thank you for taking the time to meet with us, and we, we at Waco ISD wish you well. We want to support you in every way possible. Thank you. That means the world. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on this edition of Know Your Schools in Waco ISD.